buddy, I think you lost this! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Spider-Man went beast mode. Ooh. That was crazy. Now we taught him that, right? I didn't teach him that. And you definitely didn't. For this list, we're looking at the moments from movies when the Marvel superhero Spider-Man went above and beyond and all out in feats of strength, skill, or intellect. If you've got a Peter tingle, that could be because there are spoilers ahead. Be warned, if there's a beastly Spider-Man moment missing, give us a heads up in the comments, webheads. Number 10. Peter Humiliates Flash, The Amazing Spider-Man Getting back at Flash Thompson is a favorite pastime of Peter Parker, regardless of which one you're talking about. Uh, mass cancels out, so it's just gravity times sign. Right. See, Flash being the fastest isn't always the best if you are wrong. <laughs> and while seeing Peter's style all over the antagonist in the 2002 version is great too, we went a bit bigger with our pick. In this scene, Flash ruins a fellow student's sign, so Peter decides to get back at him on the basketball court. One sec. Come on, man. Why don't you take it from me? The newly spider-powered teen uses his newfound reflexes to embarrass Flash through fancy basketball moves before finally dunking on him, literally instead of figuratively. <laughs> An irresponsible use of his powers, perhaps, but still amazing. Number 9. Spider-Man vs. Bonesaw – Spider-Man Speaking of Peter using his powers irresponsibly, in this film, he decides to use his newfound abilities to earn money by entering a wrestling competition. Hey, listen! It's some kind of mistake! I didn't sign up for a cage match! Hey! Unlock the thing! And contrary to what his opponent claims, Bonesaw is not ready, nor does their match last three minutes. Despite his bluster, Bonesaw is easily taken down by Spider-Man. The wall crawler leaps his way around the cage and uses some well-placed kicks and a leg throw to end Bonesaw's moment of triumph. The wrestler may have hit Spidey a few times with a chair, but even the strongest wrestler cannot take that many blows from a superhuman. He's just lucky that Spider-Man didn't make wrestling his career. Number 8. Taking Down Ant-Man – Captain America Civil War Given that it's his debut in the MCU, Spider-Man makes a big splash at the airport battle between Avengers in this film. Nice job, kid. Thanks. However, arguably his best showcase is taking on Ant-Man. When the tiniest hero shocks everyone by becoming the biggest, giant Ant-Man manages to keep Tony Stark's faction on their toes. Holy shit! <laughs> okay, tiny dude is big now. He's big now. However, Spider-Man repeatedly attacks the massive hero using a variety of tactics, but eventually hitting on a solution. By using his knowledge of a really old movie you probably haven't heard of, he webs up Ant-Man's legs, setting him up to get knocked down by Iron Man and War Machine. Yes! <laughs> that was awesome! Ooh. Not many people can say they've defeated a giant. Number 7. Spider-Man vs. Electro – The Amazing Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man faces off against the electrical antagonist several times throughout this movie, but their final bout at a power plant sees Peter go all out. You're too late, Spider-Man. I designed this power grid. Now I'm gonna take back what is rightfully mine. I will control everything. To put a stop to Electro, he confronts the villain, and with some help from Gwen Stacy, manages to overload the villain's energy supply, restoring power to the city. It's a battle that sees this version of Spidey pushed to his absolute limit. Not only does Peter fight through pain due to repeated electrocutions, he also pulls off some incredible moves and uses his intellect to save the day. Oh. It's this version of Spider-Man at the peak of his prowess. Number 6. Peter Tries to Kill the Green Goblin 
Spider-Man No Way Home. Peter Parker has a rough go of things in this movie, but the murder of his Aunt May by the Green Goblin is extremely traumatic for him. Somebody help, I need an ambulance, please, somebody. What happened? Nothing happened. You're okay, you're okay. And in the final confrontation at the Statue of Liberty, Peter sees red when Norman Osborn appears. He does battle with the crazed scientist on a huge metal shield. Peter usually holds back from using his great power, but in this fight, he actively tries to kill his opponent, wailing on him with abandon. He even tries to stab Osborn with his own glider, unknowingly echoing his death. However, Peter too intervenes and stops him from going too far. <laughs> Even so, before he does, this is a Spider-Man solely motivated by vengeance. Even the Green Goblin himself approves. Number five, removing the symbiote, Spider-Man 3. After being exposed to the Venom symbiote, Peter becomes a real jerk. But even he realizes that it's corrupted him after an altercation with Mary Jane. Who are you? I don't know. Determined to rid himself of it, he goes to the top of a church bell tower. There, he tears the alien creature off his body. It's incredibly difficult, even with his superhuman strength. But thanks to the sound of the nearby bell, Peter is able to weaken it enough to tear the corruption from his body. While it has some unfortunate consequences, creating yet another one of Spider-Man's enemies, the act is still an impressive act of strength and fortitude. Number four, lifting the rubble, Spider-Man Homecoming. Peter Parker is always tough, but it's his vulnerability that makes him such an appealing character. When he confronts Adrian Toomes, the vulture, at his warehouse, the blue-collar villain uses his mechanical wings to collapse part of the building on top of Peter. What are you talking about? That thing hasn't even touched me yet! True. Then again, wasn't really trying to. Trapped, scared, and alone, Peter first calls for help, but he soon realizes that in this case, he needs to save himself. Come on, Peter. Come on, Spider-Man. Come on, Spider-Man. Come on, Spider-Man. While the sheer power he displays in lifting half a building off himself is impressive, it's his grit and determination that are truly incredible here. Peter Parker may have gotten trapped, but it's Spider-Man who rises from the rubble. Number three, Spider-Man vs. Kingpin, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. When Wilson Fisk, AKA the Kingpin, opens a breach in the multiverse, it's up to Spider-Man, well, Spider-People, to stop him. Miles Morales, the newest Spider-Man, sends the others home and takes on Kingpin himself. Not so easy doing it on your own, is it? I can't wait to kill one more Spider-Man. Their battle is an intense and wild ride, with the bizarre space inside the Collider warping and bending around them. Although Kingpin seemingly beats Miles down for good, some words of encouragement from his dad lead Miles to get back up and use his unique Spider-Man ability to electrify Kingpin. I'll always have my family. You ever hear the shoulder touch? What? Hey. He then sends the hulking crime boss into the kill switch, shutting down the collider. Miles constantly compares himself to his fellow spider people, but none of them could have saved the day this way. Number two, activating instant kill, Avengers Endgame. The last battle against Thanos and his armies is a titanic and chaotic one. Amidst all this, the heroes try to send the Infinity Stones back to the past. Cap, what do you want me to do with this damn thing? Get those stones as far away as possible! No! We need to get them back where they came from! And Spider-Man is one of those to whom the Infinity Gauntlet is passed. Overwhelmed by the number of deadly enemies around him, Spider-Man activates his Iron Spider-Suit's instant kill mode. Activate his 
Instant kill! The feature sends his metal limbs tearing into his alien foes with deadly accuracy, but he's still overwhelmed and needs aid getting to where he's going. I got this! Oh, I got this! Okay, I don't got this! Help! Somebody help! Hey, Queens. Heads up. The rest of Peter's journey through this impossibly dangerous war zone is commendable as well. We don't think many teens could handle it as well as he does, superhero or not. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Final Fight with Mysterio, Spider-Man Far From Home. Easily one of the most badass uses of something called a tingle. Come on, Peter Tingle. A Leap of Faith, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Self-actualization and action scene wrapped up in one moment. That's all it is, Miles. A Leap of Faith. Like, what's up, danger? Like, what's up, danger? Washington Monument Rescue, Spider-Man Homecoming. Acrobatics, strength, and daring make this rescue unforgettable. <laughs> School Fight, The Amazing Spider-Man. Fighting a giant lizard man through school. Just another day for Peter Parker. Stop this, this isn't you! Spider-Man versus Green Goblin, Spider-Man. An intense battle with a clutch dodge and a brutal ending. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Peter Stops the Train – Spider-Man 2 You're not surprised. Spider-Man and his vehicles tend to be a recipe for extraordinary heroism. And while the ferry rescue is also fantastic, there's just no beating this moment. After battling Dr. Octopus on a speeding metro train, the villain retreats, but not before ensuring the vehicle is sent hurtling for the end of the line. Spider-Man steps in to stop the train and save everyone on board. thinks fast and uses as many webs as he can sling and every ounce of strength in his body to bring the train to a halt just in time. It's beastly. It's heroic. It's Spider-Man going above and beyond and creating one of the best Spider-Man moments ever put on film. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.